Hey, if you're familiar, what's happening? Thank you for tuning back in today. We're going to talk about or unbox this little 124 SCX24 deadbolt. So stay tuned and check it out. Dive on, dive on in into this box. This SCX24 deadbolt, 124 scale electric four wheel drive. Okay, you know what? This thing comes with the front and rear differentials, each house, worm screw and worm gear setup. You know, I mean, I've never driven anything with worm gears, so we'll see how this thing turns out. To get the power that the axles create a higher and ground clearance, you know, I, I, I don't know, they, they think the worm gears are pretty, are, are really tough. I mean, they can tear up some stuff, so, I mean, a lot of people don't like them, a lot of people like them. You know, it's, it's crazy. It, it's the, this is just the 124 scale, this represents the, the 110 plat uh, platform. You know, the chassis switching in the rugged, st still sturdy design. C channel frame still. I mean, to be in a 124 scale, that's really tiny. In the videos, it doesn't really, you know, show much. It's just really, I don't know. And we're going to check out all the ins and outs. So let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box. And of course, I got the green one. You got your little 124 scale. See, look how small this thing is. My hand ain't very big. This is pretty small compared to a 110. In the videos, they look pretty big, don't it? When you're videoing it, it looks like a normal rig. I mean, when I seen these videos, I was like, oh shoot, they look pretty good size. Good fun, I'm like, yeah, the only thing, I see a problem with this thing already. You see that? See that? Yeah. Well, we'll do some mods on this thing for sure. But I like these rubber tires. I mean, you guys can't. It's so soft and rubbery. You know they're gonna have some good grips. Of course, this is the this is the Neo Tro Grapplers miniature style. Everything's all plastic except for the frames of C channel. Got your little motor. We'll take the body off here in a sec. So let's put this away. Make sure there's nothing in there. All right. And you get your basic, uh, let's open this up. Get your basic little uh, construction manual, 124 scale deadbolt. Very, very, I mean, it has a lot of description in it. Very detailed. So I advise you to read on it. I mean, look at it. It gives you part numbers in case you break stuff. So that way when you call into the shop, oh, I need a part number. You got a part number? Bam, it's right there. It's DYNS1217. Okay? And that would be your opinion to your motor. So read up on it every time you get a vehicle i would advise you to read up on it the more you know the more you're ahead of the game you let a connector guide for your es ec3 ec5 ec2 or your xt30 you know that was one of my biggest problems when i first got into this hobby was the connectors 
read up on it. Now I'm a big fan of the EC3 and the XT30 or the XT60 or the XT XT Terminator. T yeah, okay. Anyhow, comes with the four AA batteries. Okay, your USB charger. Nice, a little Allen key. Hey, Allen, Allen key. <laughs> A little extra drive shaft. Oh, actually one drive shaft and you got links, plastic links. Alright. I didn't see this coming from Axio. I know this has been a pretty bunch of reviews on this thing, but I figured I'd do one. So anywho. And here. You got your remote, your AX4 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. It looks like it looks like something from Star Trek. Beat me up, Scotty! <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't have much. I. I. You, okay. I run. I run my uh, uh, tactic or Spectrum. Ever since I used Spectrum, I got stuck on Spectrum. I've been wanting to try a Futaba, but this just looks complicated. So it just got your little basic. Uh... Is this a tr is this a three channel? Wow. One, two, bind, off and on switch. Low, medium, high, reverse. Channel one, channel three, where's two? Oh, so channel one, channel one and channel one. What happened to two? Okay. I guess we went from one to two. A little help on this. That's why you read up on your manual. So, yeah, pretty little nifty guy. I mean, transmitter is almost as big as the car, but cool. Let's open up the body here. See, I like these little rubber tabs. You know, like how Arma. I just got into Arma. Arma, I'm a huge fan of Arma. Arma tough. I'm dead serious. Love Arma all day long. I'm a, a really huge fan of these little rubber. I don't think it's going to cost that much for these companies to put these little uh, rubber tabs on these little um, clips, body clips. So, you know, that would be nice. Oh, shoot. Flip up body. Here you got your little receiver. You got your 30C right here little reaction battery and it's a it's a 1c charge rate 0.35 amp 350 ma 2s 7.4 volt wow that is tiny that is super tiny sweet and you know, reactions made by dynamite. Can we say dynamite? <laughs> then it's a 30C. That's a pretty good little battery. I wonder how long the runtime is going to be. We'll find out because we're going to do a running video shortly after this. But I've been dying to open this up. I mean, look at these babies. Look at this motor. I got another motor. They make little tiny motors that are brushless. And I got a few inside of my little arsenal. I think this is a cool little setup. I mean, it's so freaking tiny. I mean, very awesome for the little ones to get started in. I really advise. If you have a little one that hasn't got into any of these and you want to get them started into something playing around following you get them one of these i've seen it you can upgrade it you can make it go a little faster to walking speed or you can make it go slower it's got worm gear so hey it can crawl 
but we're gonna test all this stuff out. I mean, they even make other ESCs. Oh, this is the, oh, my bad. This is your ESC slash receiver. Your servo is an AS-1 AX3 1619. That is small. Your motor is a 38 turn. No, I take that back. Dinamite. See, that's why we have manuals. I haven't even read up on it. I should have did that before I did this, but hey, you know, I just roll with the punches. I'm not professional. The motor is an SC SCX24. 030 motor with a pinion of a DYNS 1217. Okay. The ESC receiver is an A6, AE6, A80 6 ESC RX. So I was right. And it's an ESC and receiver with forward and reverse. AS1 micro servo. Double A transmitter batteries for vehicle. Yeah. Three channel transmitter. But there's no two, number two in there. Huh, ain't that a trip. Zero thirty, then what's the eighty eight on the motor? So Oh yeah, I don't read Kung Fu, or German, or French. Okay, so, there you have it, Lemon Familia. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna have a blast with this thing, I can already see it, man. Sheesh. These look, almost look like, you know, on your pins, you click the pin, the spring inside of it. It's almost look like the springs in those. You can see where I'm going with that? It's got lights already. No, I'm not the heavy D lover, heavy D. So, anywho. <laughs> so yeah, this is your little 124 scale SES deadbolt. And uh, check out this running video here. I'm gonna be posting up right after this. And you tell me, what do you think about it? Your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. If you like this video, I appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching it this far. And you're talking with AKA Ridgeline SCP Scale Trail Performance and Purple Heart RC. Love you, community.